I was volunteering when I was in high school in a hospital, saw a lot of pain and suffering, and uh, I was wondering how could I make a positive impact on these patients. Looking at the function of the heart, I was truly fascinated by how the heart functions in coordination. I thought it was really the most beautiful structure in, the heart, in, the, in a person's body. I specialize in diseases of the heart, what we call cardiology. My patients vary in age range, but usually they tend to be elderly in their 70s to 80s. Um, we do have some occasional younger patients, but the vast majority are in the seventh or eighth decade of life. Most often they present with chest discomfort or shortness of breath, something that they think is related to the heart. In terms of procedures, I do what we call diagnostic heart catheterization. That's a procedure where we inject a dye inside the arteries that feed blood to the heart and take pictures. Um, and then I do do a special kind of uh, heart ultrasound called a transesophageal echo where we get real close to the heart but not inside the heart and that gives us very good pictures of the heart valves and the heart chambers. And then very frequently I do a procedure called a cardioversion where the heart rhythm is out of sync. We give an electric shock to the heart while the patient is deeply sedated, fast asleep and try to get the heart back into regular rhythm. Um, occasionally, we do a type of catheterization where we check pressures on the right side of the heart. I place a great emphasis on two parts of my practice. One is prevention, because I firmly believe an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So I spend a lot of time on lifestyle changes, dietary intervention, exercise. And um, the other thing is something called shared medical uh, decision making. I'd like to sit down and explain to the patient the advantages and disadvantages of both the approach. So I want to make sure they make an informed decision, whatever they're comfortable with, before they make a final decision. I've been in practice for more than 30 years, so the vast majority of my patients are like family. We like to go hiking, uh, my wife and I, so Cleveland is blessed with uh, many, many hiking trails. We enjoy doing that.